the protagonist is a bit dark plus the system's mouth is very broken plus there are many female leads. Be cautious when entering the pit, after crossing over, Mu Chini realized that he was just an ordinary servant of the Mu Prince's mansion. When others travel, they are all young masters of noble families. Even if they suffer a little, they are still people with status. There's nothing he needs here, just a broken mouth system. The system also provided this double cultivation technique. What can I do? Grab up, be valuable, hold your thighs, it's best to take them off. Even if you kneel, you must kneel all the way to the peak. Chapter 1 Stupid, Memory Loss, Understood You are listening at NovelFull.audio Mu Chini felt a fever in his spine, feeling a bit like he was grilling over a fire. The earthen kong in this house is comfortable and refreshing when sleeping. Why is it a bit prickly and panicked? No, I didn't light the kong tonight. He opened his eyes and then saw a firelight at the corner of his eye. Sleeping slot. He immediately jumped up and out, then he became confused. Where is my earthen con? Where is my room? He is now in a strange courtyard, with several bundles of burning firewood in the center. He just jumped down from this place. There are two people in the yard, an old man and a young man. The two were dressed in the clothes of ancient slaves. Mu Chini looked at this unfamiliar environment, and the stranger slapped himself in the face, almost killing his back teeth. Wearing it. But this is bullshit. I slept well and suddenly got dressed. The old and young people on the side were also foolish. How could a person who had lost their breath come back to life? The young man trembled and asked, Are you a human or a ghost? The old man said, we didn't kill you. If you want to seek revenge and find the third young master, please don't come to us. Mu Chini walked towards the two of them and said, what are you afraid of? I won't eat you again. The old man immediately spat two mouthfuls of foam on his hands, rubbed them together, and then stepped forward, continuously pushing his hand towards Mu Chini not far away. Retreat. 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 Mu Chini cooperated and took a few steps back to show respect for the old man's hard performance. Respecting the elderly and loving the young is a traditional virtue, even if we wear it, we cannot lose it. Young people learn from the behavior of the old man when they see that it is effective. Retreat Mu Chini shook his head and just teased these two people to play, why doesn't it last forever? He walked straight towards the two of them. The young man took two steps back in fear and said, Uncle Zhang, if it doesn't work, what should we do? The old man also took a few steps back and said, How do I know? It's over now. Mu Chini jumped directly in front of the two of them. The old man and the young man were so frightened that they immediately hugged each other, and it was unclear which one couldn't resist. The clothes on their lower bodies were directly wet. Maybe I couldn't resist it. After all, I feel like I can't stop it even when it comes to blocking. Don't come over here. I usually treat you well. Mu Chini saw that you were too timid, how could you still play? All right, look at how scared you are. I'm alive. The two of them looked at Mu Chini trembling and then saw shadows on the ground, feeling much more at ease. I really didn't die. You're clearly out of breath. Mu Chini asked directly, Who am I? Where am I? He pointed to the burning firewood and asked, What is this doing again? The old man and the young man are confused, why don't you ask others? Mu Chini pointed to his head, sighed, and said sorrowfully, You're foolish, you've lost your memory, understand? The old man said, You were beaten before, but you didn't get hit on the head. Why are you so foolish and have amnesia? The young man said, perhaps the damage has been transferred. Mu Chini asked many questions and gained a general understanding. This is the southern border of Xuanyu continent, Xing'an city of Fongguo. This small courtyard belongs to the Mu Wang mansion in the city. The original owner of his body is also called Mu Chini. 
Mu Chini and this Mu Prince's mansion are considered to have close ties, and he is the distant nephew of Mu Prince, the kind that Ba Ganzi can barely fight against. Mu Chini is 15 years old this year, and his parents have passed away. Recently, he defected to the Mu Prince's mansion and became a servant of the Mu family. A few days ago, due to offending the third young master of the Mu family, he was beaten to half death. He persevered for two days, and then he snapped. Mu Chini estimated that the other party did not die from being beaten, after all, although he felt very uncomfortable and had pain in many places, he was still within his tolerable range. The other party mostly died due to being humiliated, being beaten, and experiencing a complete mental breakdown, under the dual torment of physical and mental torment. Of course, these are all his speculations. After listening to the two of them, Mu Chini sighed and said, even if they were something, they have a status of being a slut. How could they become servants with him? He said to himself, call system, please answer if you receive it. System. All of them. Tongzi. Grandpa. Grandpa. Ancestors. There's no such thing as that, come on, baby or something. Dot. Inheritance is also good. Dot. Mu Chini cursed to himself, numb. I've come all the way here, you don't even give me a cheat. How can we live our lives if we offend someone we can't afford to provoke before the start of the game? Mr. Zhang said, Xiaoyi, you're lucky that you didn't die this time. Don't provoke those young masters and ladies again in the future. Mu Chini said, thank you very much for Uncle Zhang's reminder. I have taken note of it. The young man said, Brother E, tomorrow is Miss Six coming to choose a servant. Miss Six is the most favored in the mansion, so please don't cause trouble again. Mu Chini said, Li Si, don't worry. He also accepted his fate. If he didn't hang up, he wouldn't have hung up. Get up, then hold up your thighs and live for now. At this moment, a refreshing breeze blew by, and he suddenly felt a severe pain in his back. He couldn't help but take a cold breath. Hiss. He reached out and touched it, then dipped his hand in blood. Mr. Zhang said, you have burned your back. Come inside and we will give you some medicine. He said to Li Si again, Xiao Si, go and extinguish the fire. Li Si poured a bucket of water directly and extinguished the fire. Old Zhang drugged Mu Chini and then said, fortunately, you recovered your anger early, otherwise you would definitely be burned to death. Mu Chini was lying on the bed, his whole body was about to spasm, and he was so painful that he dug into the bed frame, wishing to carve out sparks. In the next few days, he will have to sleep on his stomach. However, there were still bruises and bruises left on his body from the previous beating, all black and purple, and he didn't feel very comfortable lying down. The next day, Mu Chini was having a beautiful dream, drooling at the corners of her mouth, with a pig-like face and occasionally emitting lewd laughter. Hee hee. Hee hee. Then he was awakened by the camera. Li Si said, Brother E, why are you still sleeping? Miss Lu is almost here. Mu Chini got up and thought to herself, what can we do if we come? Let's see if the young master can take it for her. The original owner of this body has already offended that damn third young master, so he must first find a way to hold someone else's thigh. Since Miss Lu is the most favored, he needs to hold on to this tender leg. As for the third young master, when there is a chance in the future, I will kill him. Mu Chini stood up and, with the help of Li Si, struggled to put on his clothes. Then he followed Li Si to a lobby. As soon as he entered, he saw more than twenty people standing inside. And those people, one by one, looked at Mu Chini in surprise. Isn't it said that this person is dead? Yeah. To avoid bad luck, the steward had the body burned directly last night. I guess I didn't die completely. I haven't even died, my life is so great. As for him, he may offend Miss again today, and he will eventually die. These people are all servants who have just entered the Mu Wang mansion, 
waiting to be picked away by the young masters or ladies in the mansion. Pick the remaining ones and they will naturally be assigned to do some household chores, such as digging up feces. Muchini naturally doesn't want to do miscellaneous work, it's hard and tiring, and he doesn't have much money yet. In contrast, serving young masters and ladies is much better, and if you serve them well, you can still receive a lot of rewards. Muchini and others were bored and saw this group of people still pointing and pointing at him. He is going to beg for it, but he will not beg for it in front of these lowest level people, which is meaningless. That little temper couldn't be suppressed at once. What are you looking at? Haven't you seen a beautiful man like me who is both talented and beautiful, with a stunning and elegant demeanor? Everyone was taken aback and then exploded. Sleeping slot. Why is this dog so shameless? He wasn't like this before. I guess I was beaten silly. Mu Chini said, a group of ignorant people. Li Si immediately pulled Mu Chini's sleeve and said, Brother, don't provoke them. It's okay, there's no need to tolerate them. Mu Chini is too familiar with the people in front of him who bully the soft and fear the hard. It is purely foolish to tolerate and retreat in front of these people. There are a few people who are extremely angry, but they dare not cause trouble in the royal palace. At this moment, a voice rang out in Muchini's mind. Your system has received the payment. Recently, our business has been busy and shipping has been a bit slow. Please understand. The book has undergone several major revisions, but there are some inconsistencies. You can take a look at the comments section. Chapter 2 Kneeling at the beginning you are listening at novelfull.audio Upon hearing this sound, Mu Chini was taken aback and then delighted. My child has finally passed away, and my mother no longer needs to worry about me. The system screen immediately appears. Do you want to bind the system without any hesitation? Mu Chini decisively clicked on the bind button. At the same time, he also had some doubts, why doesn't the system have a name? Can't it be garbage, right? Congratulations to the dogleg subsystem for successfully binding to the host. Wishing everyone a happy time playing Mu Chini was taken aback for a moment. Isn't that right? And as soon as you hear the name of this system, you know it's definitely a garbage system. However, he is also prepared to go and hug his thighs, so he doesn't want to worry anymore. System. I am finally bound to people. From today on, I can play with people. System. Ha ha ha. Mu Chini cursed to himself, there's something wrong. I casually closed the system interface. What's fun about working with your system? Li Si said, Brother E, when Miss Six arrives later, you must kneel down quickly, otherwise you will definitely be beaten again. Two days ago, when third young master arrived, Mu Chini was beaten severely because he didn't want to kneel. Mu Chini said, don't kneel. He thought to himself, the man has gold under his knees, kneel down. System. Well said, let's not kneel, let her kneel for us. At this moment, someone outside the door shouted, Miss Six is here. Mu Chini looked over and saw a beautiful and charming girl dressed in a red dress outside the door. The hem of the dress swayed slightly, and two smooth and delicate calves could be vaguely seen. He looked at the young girl and thought to himself, is this Miss Mu Liao from the Mu Prince's mansion? That's great, she's amazing. I can hold this leg for two years. If I can find a chance to win it, that would be even better. Mu Chini looked at the crowd around him and cursed to himself, a group of spineless people, I'm kneeling now. Goodbye, Miss. System. Horizontal slot. System. Aren't you his mother kneeling? You have the face to talk about others. You kneel down before Mu Liao enters the door. System. Isn't there gold under the man's knee? What about your moral character? System. As a person with higher education, what are the bottom lines and dignity you should have? Mu Chini. Integrity, bottom line, dignity. How much are these things worth? 
system. I came to see you step on the world and point your sword to the sky. I never expected that you would kneel at the beginning. Mu Chini. Go aside. The people next to them were also stunned when they saw Mu Chini's performance. What's wrong with Mu Chini? He knelt so quickly today, even before anyone came in. Isn't this dog only having nine orifices? Mu Liao slowly walked past the crowd. Mu Chini immediately knelt down and said, Miss, wait a moment. Then he grabbed Mu Liao's ankle and rubbed her feet with the cuffs. The others were startled. What is this person doing? Is this going to seek death? Mu Liao looked at Mu Chini kneeling on the ground, her face very unhappy. The maid behind her immediately cursed, Bold dog servant, you dare to desecrate Mississippi. Mu Chini immediately said, Miss, I didn't mean to. I saw mud on Miss's shoes, so I rashly stepped forward. Miss is the body of a thousand gold, pure as a lotus and like a fairy in the sky. How could this mortal world touch Mississippi? The villain offended the young lady, and the villain is guilty. Please punish the young lady. He said as he lowered his head and raised his cuffs. Sure enough, there was a lot of dust on the cuffs. The system cursed, do you want to force your face? That dirt was obviously rubbed on the ground with your sleeve, you thief. Mu Chini. How can I hold my thighs if I want to force my face? Mu Liao didn't get angry when she saw that Mu Chini could still speak. From now on, just follow me, Mississippi. The host has successfully gained recognition from Mu Liao, and hereby rewards a bottle of top dot quality healing pill with a system point of 10. Mu Chini smiled and unexpectedly gained something unexpected, not bad. He quickly cowed out and said, Thank you very much for your great kindness, Mississippi. From now on, I am willing to serve you as a horse and bear the burden. System. You dog, why are you so skilled at knocking your head? Moochini. Nonsense. I can't even bump my head, how can I hold my thighs? System. This system is designed to watch you dominate the world and fight battles, controlling life and death in the world. Can you show some masculine demeanor? Moochini. It would be great if I could save my own life. It's just nonsense to fight against heaven and earth, to live or die in the world. Mu Liao said to Mu Chini, very well, you get up. Miss Xie. A group of people were all dumbfounded. Is this still the one who didn't even want to kneel down the other day? After being beaten up, it's normal for you to have a long memory, but is your change a bit too broad? Instantly transitioning from a weak player to a high player. How do they get along with this? Li Si widened his eyes, thinking that he must be crazy. Mu Liao sat on a chair in the hall, with her maid and Mu Chini standing on either side. Miss, we need four more servants. Who would you like? Everyone bowed down. Miss, I'm willing to. Miss, I am willing to. Mu Liao said, everyone is willing, but this is difficult. How should we choose? At this moment, a person knelt forward. Miss, I am willing to assist you in your work and serve you well. Mu Chini gave the other person a teasing glance, he was a big fool. Mu Liao's eyes were filled with disgust, and she cursed directly, you know how to pick up people and trash. The person was taken aback and then said, Miss, I really want to do something for you. Mu Chini immediately seized the opportunity and gave the person two big tricks when he went up. Bastard, what are you doing here? Are you trying to tarnish Miss's eyes? Then he dragged the person directly to the door and kicked them out. He didn't hit this person because he wanted to please Mu Liao, but because the person just wanted to take action against him. He is very vengeful. Of course, if Mu Liao had a plain expression just now, he wouldn't have gone up. Host successfully bullies others once, rewards divine hidden ring, system points 10. System. You are very proficient in playing the game of dog wielding power. Mu Chini. This is called I power. You understand shit. 
system. Dog thing. Mu Chini ignored the chaotic system calls. He doesn't have the time now, he needs to stand firm first. He then walked in and knelt down, saying, I'm so blind that I let this kind of dog appear in front of the young lady. Please punish me, young lady. Mu Liao was very satisfied and said, Hmm get up. Just be careful in the future. Miss Xie. Mu Chini stood up and said, Miss, why don't you let me choose for you so that you don't have to work too hard? Mu Liao said, Okay, let me see if you have the ability. Mu Chini said, Miss Xie gave me a chance. He then turned around and walked forward, asking a person, I'm asking you, what should you do if the lady wants to climb a tree? The person said, I should. I should stop Mississippi Miss, the body of 10,000 gold, how can you climb a tree? It's too dangerous. Mu Chini slapped her in the face and then said, Damn it, Miss, you're using your hands and feet to do things. Miss, if you want to climb a tree, you should make a ladder. If you know the danger, you should make a meat mat below. Miss is the master, you can do whatever you want. I don't even know. If you still want to serve Miss, get out. That person was afraid of being beaten and crawled out directly. System. You are really suitable for being a slave. You were a slave in your own job in the last his mother life. Mu Chini thought about it and realized that before she came over, she was playing basketball, going out early and returning late every day, working overtime, and was exhausted. Her monthly salary was 3,500, which was not much different from being a servant. Chapter 3 Was deceived by these two goods you are listening at novel full dot audio. Mu Liao frowned when she heard the tree climbing. How could she climb the tree? But the following sentence, Miss is the master, do whatever you want. She was very satisfied. Detected an increase in satisfaction with the host by Mu Liao. Reward the host with a lucky draw, system point 10. Mu Chini smiled and then looked at Li Si, asking, what should I do if Miss makes a mistake? Li Si's body was trembling and trembling. He was extremely scared when he saw Mu Chini as if he had changed a person. Miss made a mistake. Mu Chini immediately stared over, his eyes turning wildly. Li Si quickly changed his tone and said, Miss, it's impossible to make a mistake. It must be us servants who made a mistake. Mu Chini nodded, you can teach. Not bad, you barely qualified. He then turned to look at Mu Liao and said, Miss, how do you like this? Mu Liao said, hmm. It's okay. You can watch and choose from now on. You don't have to ask me anymore. Choose a good person and bring them to my yard. Mu Chini said, I understand. After Mu Liao got up, she left. Mu Chini respectfully escorted Mu Liao out of the courtyard door. He bent down to see Mu Liao walking away, then slowly straightened his waist and walked back to the lobby with a figure eight. System. Oh my god. You bastard. Mu Chini. You even have the face to call me a scumbag with your name. He then stared at the people present and said, Miss, you have also heard what I said. I will select the remaining three people within half an hour. There is not much time left for you. He rubbed his middle finger with his thumb as he spoke. System. You still want to take bribes, I will report you. Mu Chini. I gave you face, didn't I, shut up. He immediately said to the crowd, I need to go and make things convenient for you. Prepare well. Then he walked out. The crowd immediately began to discuss. This thief, isn't it a clear intention to gain benefits? No, I didn't expect this kid to be appreciated by the young lady. Look at him being arrogant. He is just a lucky and successful person, referring to this kind of person. If a person is rampant, they will surely perish. He will not be arrogant for a few days. Everyone, we can't let this thief get a discount. We'll pretend we don't understand his meaning later. 
right, right, you can't give him any benefits. Anyway, whether you give it or not, you have to choose someone. That's right, that's settled. If you want benefits, there's no way. Upon hearing these people's words, Li Si immediately ran out and found Mu Chini sitting in the yard. Brother E, it's thanks to you this time. Otherwise, why would I have to do miscellaneous work? Thank you very much, Brother E. He said and bowed. Mu Chini said, it's a small matter. Follow me in the future and I'll take care of your delicious food and spicy drinks. E Gu, those people are discussing it. Oh, really? Have these people agreed not to give me any benefits? Li Si said, E Gu, how do you know? Mu Chini said, as soon as they pouted their buttocks, I knew they were going to eat shit. Li Si asked, Brother E, what are you going to do? Mu Chini smiled nonchalantly and said, I'm not doing anything, just a bunch of scumbags. It's not worth mentioning. You go help me keep an eye on them. He guessed that group of people would have this idea, but would those people really do it? No problem, Brother E. Mu Chini withdrew the person and opened the system interface. Quick, where is my task reward? System. Here, here. What's the fuss about? A bottle of top dot level healing pill. Can quickly recover from internal injuries, divine hidden ring. The host can recognize the master by dripping blood. After binding this item, it will merge with the host and cannot be used or snatched by others. If the host dies, the ring will self-destruct. Function 1. Can store items, with an internal space of 10 Zhang square. 2. You can hide your cultivation at any time. 3. Invisible, unable to be detected by individuals with cultivation levels no higher than 3 levels, limited to once a day for 30 minutes each time Mu Chini took a look and found a total of 10 pills. How stingy. But that ring is a good thing. System. Don't take it, return it to me. Mu Chini ignored the system and took out a pill. He then took it and felt a burning sensation and itching on his back. Damn it, it can't be fake medicine. System. Unable to recognize goods. Mu Chini immediately took off his shirt and then touched his back, feeling very smooth. The wound had healed and the bruises on his body were gone. Not bad, great. You're great, you need to keep working hard. System. Great. He, Tue. Do you praise this system? Mu Chini put on his clothes, took out the medicine bottle, and immediately put eight of them into the system warehouse. He then placed the medicine bottle on his body. He took out the ring again and immediately cut a little finger, dripping blood. Then he put it on his hand, and the ring disappeared directly, but he could feel it in his hand. The host has bound the divine hidden ring. Mu Chini wants to try invisibility. Friendly reminder. The host has not yet cultivated and cannot use the function of the ring. System. You idiot, is that good feature so user dot friendly. Mu Chini ignored the system and strode into the lobby. I wonder if everyone is ready yet. Two people immediately ran up from among the crowd. Both of them secretly stuffed things into Mu Chini. E Gu, my name is Zhang Wei. Are you okay with me? E Gu, Young Li Jun wants to follow you. Mu Chini had already anticipated this, and there were always a few clever ones out of over twenty people. He looked at it and saw only a little scattered silver, but it was pretty good. They all came to work as servants, so how could they have money? That's good. He was not originally for money. It's just a fox pretending to be a tiger. Very good, you two are good. You have been selected and will work hard with me in the future. Thank you very much, Brother E. Others were confused. Just now, it was Li Jun who suggested that everyone not give benefits to Mu Chini, and Zhang Wei was the first to agree. Paralyzed. I've been fooled by these two thieves. Damn it. How could people be so vicious? 
these two dogs are miscellaneous. If there's a chance, I'll definitely kill them. Mu Chini said, there's still one spot left. Hurry up, I'm in a hurry. A group of people regained their senses and immediately took out their belongings. Igu, this is all my belongings now. Mu Chini cursed, since it's all your belongings, how could I be too embarrassed to ask for it? Li Jun immediately slapped the person and cursed, you bastard, it's worth taking out just three copper coins. Zhang Weili immediately dragged the person out. The person shouted, Brother E, give me a chance. Brother E, I have an 80-year-old mother on me. E Gu. A few of the remaining people immediately withdrew. Then someone took out the silver, while others took out other things. Mu Chini wants to choose any one. System. Choose a jade pendant, choose a jade pendant, choose a jade pendant for me, hurry up, what are you waiting for? Mu Chini frowned. This system is too arrogant. But he still endured it, the system was so excited, probably something precious. He brought the jade pendant over. All right, we're done with the candidates. You guys go back and pack your things, and then follow me to the Miss Courtyard. Yes, Brother E. Those who were not selected sighed and then left the lobby. Li Si said, E Gu, wait a moment, I'll go pack your things. Mu Chini nodded and said, Go. Chapter 4 Even if kneeling, one must kneel all the way to the peak you are listening at novel full dot audio. After Mu Chini and others left, they immediately asked, System, quickly tell me what treasure this jade is. System. Baby. I didn't say it was a baby. So why did you ask me to choose a jade pendant? System. I was just saying it, but I didn't expect you to actually choose it. Mu Chini said, Dot. You dog system, you play with me. System. Ha ha ha. I just want to play with you. I his mother. Forget it, I can change some money even if I sell it. System. You can indeed exchange money, but at most it's only worth two copper coins. Ha ha ha. I, Nima. System. Out of breath, do you want to ravage me? Do you want me to kneel and sing, conquer? Do you want to kill me? Think. System. So you think so much. You have no choice but to think about me. Paralysis. I will uninstall it for you sooner or later. System. This system is fearless. Dot. Mu Chini has no choice but to endure the system for the time being. Mu Chini and four others arrived at the entrance of Mu Liao's courtyard. Then I saw the previous maid waiting at the door. You dog slaves have made me wait so long. Li Si and the others all lowered their heads in fear, afraid to look at the maid. Mu Chini stepped forward and said with a smile, Sister, don't blame me. This is for selecting servants for Mississippi. I dare not make any mistakes, so I naturally need to be more careful. Thank you for waiting here for a long time, sister. He said and secretly handed over the benefits he had obtained from Zhang and Li before. System. Look at your achievements, how tough you are. A maid, you're so scared. Mu Chini. You know what the hell. That maid is obviously personally serving Mu Liao, not something he can afford to offend now. The maid's face improved slightly when she saw the broken silver in her hand. Let's forget about it this time, you guys come with me. Mu Chini said, thank you very much, sister. Sister is really beautiful and kind-hearted. System. What are you afraid of her doing? Now go up and give her a big mouth, and this system will immediately give you an unparalleled dharma book. Mu Chini wouldn't believe the nonsense of this bullshit system after the incident with the jade pendant before. If this system could decide on its own, it would definitely not reward him before. Even if it were, he wouldn't dare. The Supreme Taoist method also requires life to practice. He hit the maid with his front foot, and his back foot is likely to be fatal. 
After all, the maid was young, so she couldn't imagine the twists and turns in the other person's heart. When she heard Muchini's praise, she was naturally overjoyed. Then he said shyly, no. Muchini said, sister is really too humble. He looked at the back of the maid and thought to himself, once I stand firm, I will be the first to deal with this pretty girl who is bullying people. Later, he followed the maid into the courtyard with four people and arrived at a small courtyard. The maid said to a middle-aged man, Steward Wang, they are all new here, so I'll leave it to you. Wang Yin said, no problem, Miss Xiaoya, rest assured. Xiaoya nodded and turned around to leave. Wang Yin flattered and said, Miss Xiaoya, sit down and leave. No, I can't. Xiaoya left directly, she didn't have a good impression of this person. Wang Yin looked at the maid's figure, revealing a lewd and lewd smile, and even licked her lips, obviously looking forward to it. Mu Chini disdains it. This old Bangzi actually craves the body of a little girl, it's so disgusting. However, to be honest, the maid looked only around 28 years old and had a beautiful appearance. She was indeed quite good, mainly because her figure had already fallen out of grace. Mu Chini couldn't help but think for a moment. System. Aren't you a greedy dog? That old Bangzi is shameless, you have no skin or face at all. Mu Chini. Is there anything that can do? Face. He threw it away long ago. I didn't forget to step on my feet after throwing it away. Wang Yin saw that Xiaoya had already left, withdrew her smiling face, and turned to look at the five people with a disdainful expression. In the future, you will work here and show me your tricks. If you cause any trouble, I will not spare you lightly. A few servants had angered the young lady before, and were beaten and disabled, and then thrown out. Don't seek death on your own. The five people bowed and said, yes. Wang Yin pointed to a small room next to him and said, you five will live there from now on. Yes. Mu Chini saw that everyone else had gone to put things away and approached, saying, Steward Wang, I'm a newcomer from a poor background and don't understand the rules. I hope you can give me some guidance. I will have a smile at the beginning of next month. System. Can you have a bit of guts? If you see someone, you will go up to curry favor with him. You are a his mother loser. You have to be tough. Mu Chini. It's better not to have it than to have it, just hang it like garbage. Wang Yin naturally knows that these people don't have much money, but when they come here, they can still have monthly income. And the Mu family distributes monthly payments to servants at the beginning of the month. Wang Yin saw that Mu Chini had specifically pointed out this point, but he was also saying it subtly. He thought to himself that it was still this kid who took the road. He immediately put on an airs and said, as you are still quite sensible, I will tell you about it. Thank you, steward. Wang Yin was overjoyed by the grown dot up call, and her smile couldn't hold. Although he is in charge, he is also like these newcomers, both servants. Where have he ever been called an adult? He was called by his own adult, which almost made him feel like a character. Don't shout recklessly. If someone else hears you, it's not good. Mu Chini said, don't worry, steward. I'm naturally on guard against others. The young man is very good, I will take care of you in the future. I would like to thank the steward again. Mu Chini had a flattering smile on her face, and she had already labeled this person as the second one to clean up. After he ascends to power, take down the maid first, and then deal with this old Bangzi. System. Life and death are indifferent, if you don't agree, then do it. You can go up and beat him to death directly. System. Thirty years of Hadong and thirty years of Hushi are all nonsense, we only seize the day. System. A great man is born between heaven and earth. He should have the ambition to conquer the heavens and the heart to conquer the gods. System. You are so greedy and afraid of death, how can you become a strong generation? How can you trample on others? 
how can you suppress this sky? Mu Chinif silently opened the system interface and then found the system settings. Unfortunately, she couldn't find the uninstallation window. System. What the fuck are you doing? Stop it. Mu Chini placed her finger on the option to forcibly disable the system's self-awareness in the interface. Without hesitation, he clicked on it. The system interface immediately displays a prompt. After forcibly shutting down the system's self-awareness, the host will be unable to communicate with the system's self-awareness. If the host needs to communicate with the system, it is sufficient to turn on the system's self-awareness again. Are you sure you want to force the shutdown? Mu Chini looked at the prompt on the system interface and directly clicked OK. System. Hey, sleeper slot. Everyone is friends, it's easy to talk and discuss, don't be so extreme. You. However, Mu Chini did not stop. Reminder. The system's self-awareness has been turned off. Mu Chini saw the prompt and breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, he resolved the broken mouth and became much quieter. This system consciousness is completely an idiot. What is going against the heavens and conquering the gods? They didn't provoke you, what are you doing with their ideas? Suppress the sky. This is bullshit. Why can't one become a strong person who is greedy for life and afraid of death? Only those who survive are worthy of dominance. Even if I kneel, I will kneel all the way to the peak. At this moment, the other four people put their things away and walked out. Wang Yin said, you guys go chop up the firewood in the backyard, fill the water tank for me, and sweep the yard clean for me. Yes. The four of them agreed and immediately walked towards the backyard. Chapter 5 this is all from Miss You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio. Afterwards, Wang Yin told Mu Chini some things to pay attention to. Mu Chini kept these things in mind one by one. Thank you very much for your guidance, the steward. I am extremely grateful, and you will become the reincarnated parents of the villain in the future. Wang Yin smiled and said, Hmm. In the evening, I will take you to see the young lady. You little one. Be clever. Steward, rest assured. Go tidy up yourself and be more dignified when you see Mississippi. Yes. Wang Yin hummed a tune and left. Mu Chini walked into the room and glanced at this small and pitiful room. Not to mention five people, even three people had to be squeezed tightly. It seems that we need to perform well tonight and leave this shabby house early. It depends on whether those three idiots will act smart on their own. And at this moment, in the backyard. The person who gave Mu Chini the broken jade pendant said, It's unfair. Li Si asked, Han Ming, what's unfair? Han Ming said, We work hard here, why doesn't Mu Chini have to do anything? Li Si said, Han Ming, what do you mean? If it weren't for Yi Gu, you wouldn't have been able to come here and you would definitely have been dragged to collect feces. I gave him benefits and didn't owe him anything. Let's all come together. Why is he superior to us? Li Si cursed, forgetting kindness and being ungrateful. Zhang Wei saw that the two were about to argue and immediately said, All right, stop arguing. If Steward Wang hears about it, he will definitely scold us. Li Jun said, Li Si, don't be angry. Han Ming is just straightforward and can't speak. So, if you go sweep the yard, we will advise Han Ming. Li Si nodded and then walked out with a broom in hand. Han Ming said, Why are you? Zhang Wei extended his hand to interrupt Han Ming's words, looked around, and after confirming that there was no one around, he whispered, Han Ming, why are you so foolish? It's obvious that Mu Chini has already hooked up with Wang Yin so he wasn't assigned a job. Han Ming said, I know, I just can't get angry. If it weren't for the things on him, we could have pleased Wang Yin. Li Jun whispered, Han Ming, you're confused. You can't get angry, you have to endure it. Li Si is obviously in the same league as Mu Chini. 
If your words make Mu Chini unhappy, then the thief will say something bad about you in front of Wang Yin, and you will be ruined. After thinking about it, Han Ming quickly said, Do we have to swallow our pride in front of Mu Chini all the time? Li Jun and Zhang Wei exchanged glances and nodded. We actually can't stand Mu Chini either. We are all poor people and should have helped each other, but Mu Chini is just a villain. After Zhang Wei finished speaking, he looked at Han Ming. Han Ming, you have offended Mu Chini now. I'm afraid if you swallow your anger, they won't let you go either. Han Ming said anxiously, so what should I do? Li Jun said, there is only one way, get rid of Mu Chini. Ko Mu Chini has already hooked up with manager Wang and even sent silver to the maid Xiaoya next to Mississippi. She has already established herself in this courtyard. How can we deal with him? Zhang Wei smiled and said, Miss the final say what happens in Han Ming's courtyard. As long as Miss says something, Mu Chini can't finish it. Miss Ko is very satisfied with Mu Chini today. The selection of candidates has been entrusted to Mu Chini. How could Miss clean up Mu Chini for no reason? Zhang Wei and Li Jun's faces are not very good, why is this fool not enlightened at all? Mu Chini asked for benefits by selecting people for Mississippi. If Miss knows about this, do you think Miss will be angry? Definitely, Han Ming said happily, in the evening, we will go see the lady, and you can tell her about this. Does the lady believe it? What are you afraid of? We have to testify for you. Okay. At night. Wang Yin took five people to meet Mu Liao. The other four people knelt down and said, Goodbye Mississippi. Mu Chini said, Miss, good luck. Mu Liao heard this sentence for the first time and thought it was good. Mmm. You're doing well, not bad. Let's all get up. A few people stood up. Han Ming continued to kneel and said, Miss, I have something to tell you. Mu Liao said, What's going on? Miss, when he selects people for Miss, he openly benefits. Are you telling the truth? The villain is telling the truth. Zhang Wei and Li Jun immediately knelt on the ground when they saw a scene and said, Miss, we can testify. Mu Liao looked at Mu Chini and asked, What do you have to say? She is obviously a bit angry. She was originally very satisfied with Mu Chini and even thought of giving him some tips later, but Mu Chini pretended to be doing things for her and accepted the benefits, which disappointed her. Everyone around her could see that Mu Liao was angry and too scared to speak. Li's legs were trembling, looking worried at Mu Chini. Mu Chini immediately knelt down and said, Miss, I have indeed benefited. Wang Yin looked at Mu Chini and thought to himself, this person is quite capable, unlike someone with a bad brain. How could I admit it on my own? He didn't speak, just hoping that this matter wouldn't involve him. The maid Xiaoya looked at Mu Chini and sighed in her heart, it's a pity. She's so handsome, I guess she'll be beaten to death. After all, she has received money from Mu Chini and has been praised by the other party. Mu Liao said, Pull it down, beat it up and throw it out. Wang Yin immediately wanted to take action to prevent Mu Chini from backing up. Mu Chini said, Miss, please wait a moment, let me explain it a bit. Mu Liao said coldly, Okay, if you don't explain well, I'll have someone kill you directly. Mu Chini thought to herself, This girl is either physically disabled or beaten to death. She is so deeply in love and deeply responsible. He said, it's all for the sake of the young lady to reap the benefits. Mu Liao smiled angrily and said, are you seeking benefits for me, Mississippi? Everyone else was stunned, why don't you find a reason and a more reasonable one? Han Ming, Zhang Wei, and Li Jun were extremely happy when they heard this. Isn't that a ridiculous reason to seek death? Mu Chini said, miss, I'm here to test if they really want to do something for you. If they don't even want to take out a little money, then how can they wholeheartedly work for the young lady in the future? Everyone was taken aback, can you still explain it this way? Mu Liao asked, this amount of money can be measured. 
Miss, this amount of money is a drop in the bucket for you, but for them, it's all they have. If they can take it out, at least it can be said to be a bit sincere. Mu Liao nodded and said playfully, So, you're really doing it for me, Mississippi. Little one, thanks to Mrs. Trust, I naturally wholeheartedly serve Mississippi. Chapter 6 I can drink billion dots more you are listening at novelfull.audio. Han Ming and the others are foolish. How could this person make up such a story? Li Jun said, Miss, he benefits from doing things for you under the guise of doing things for you. He is clearly doing it for himself. Zhang Wei said, Miss, don't trust this person's words lightly. He is clearly seeking personal gain for himself. Han Ming said, Miss, he's just talking nonsense. Mu Liao said, Shut up, is it up to you to speak? She looked at Mu Chini and said, It's not certain if you really think about me, but it's a fact that you're seeking personal gain for yourself. Miss, I absolutely dare not seek personal gain, said Mu Chini. He presented the small medicine bottle in his hand with both hands. Miss, I used the money they obtained to buy this healing pill as a gift for Mississippi. Before, Mu Liao saw Mu Chini enter the door with a medicine bottle in her hand and kept wondering. Now that she heard the other person say this, she believed it a bit. Why is it only taken out now? Miss, although I added some money to buy this pill, it's really too cheap and I can't afford it. Mu Liao had already believed most of it and said, You come with me, everyone else will go down. Wang Yin bowed and retreated with four new servants, and the two maids beside him also retreated. Mu Chini got up and followed Mu Liao to another luxurious room. He immediately knelt beside him. He knew that the next move was the big picture, and whether he could gain Mu Liao's trust depended on this wave. He wanted benefits before, just for now. If he relies solely on his previous actions, it will take him a long time to gain the trust of Mu Liao. But as long as Mu Liao passes the test next, he will be stable. Mu Liao sat on the couch, and soon after, Xiaoya brought in a basin of water. Come here, wash my missus' feet. Mu Chini looked up and saw Mu Liao looking at her. He immediately knelt forward, he is willing to do this. He gently took off Mu Liao's shoes and socks, and then slowly put her jade feet into a basin. He touched Mu Liao's calf with his hand. That feeling is just two words, tender and smooth. Tender plus smooth equals moisturizing. Mu Chini naturally dared not go too far, even if he wanted to go too far, he would have to wait in the future. He gently wiped Mu Liao's feet before putting them down. Mu Liao saw this and looked at Xiaoya on one side. Xiaoya understood and immediately brought a cup from the side. She then walked towards Mu Chini and placed the cup in his hand. She looked at Mu Chini with some sympathy in her eyes. Mu Liao said, Drink my missus foot wash. Mu Chini held the cup for a moment, originally planning to test him with this. He held the cup and frowned slightly. Mu Liao looked at Mu Chini without urging, waiting for the other party to consider. System. San Yen, this woman is so arrogant. We can't get used to her. Go up and shout at her loudly. This system will give you ten drops of Emperor's essence. Mu Chini. Why did you come out again? Didn't you turn it off, system? I can come up with this crucial game for a while. System. Go ahead, give this system a big ear scraper to greet her. Mu Chini threw away the cup directly. System. Yes, that's it. Go ahead, fuck her. Mu Liao said angrily, how dare you not drink. Xiaoya looked sympathetically at this person, it's over. Mu Chini didn't speak, just picked up the basin directly. Gudong. Dong. 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 Mu Liao was stunned for a moment. Xiaoya was dumbfounded. Mu Chini thought to herself, shouldn't we just drink some foot wash? What's difficult about it? If it were changed to shower water, it would be even better. He 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 he, system. 
crouching slot. This system counts a thousand, but you are still a his mother pervert. Mu Chini put down the basin, immediately hiccuped, and then smacked his mouth. Miss, I can still drink billions of dots. Detected that the host has no bottom line, reward one cultivation technique, system points 100. System. Why am I bound to such a pervert like you? I, the screen disappears, and the system's sound also disappears Mu Liao asked, what's your name? My name is Mu Chini. Are you the person who collided with Mu Lingfei? I didn't like third young master, that's why I offended him. Mu Chini has already heard from Wang Yin that Mu Liao and Mu Lingfei have a very bad relationship, so naturally there are no concerns. Upon hearing Mu Chini's words, Mu Liao said with satisfaction, very good. She then said to the maid, notify me that from now on, Mu Chini will be the steward of Mrs. Courtyard, and he will be responsible for all the affairs in the courtyard. Host gains the trust of Mu Liao, rewards a lottery once, and the system points 10. Mu Chini was taken aback for a moment. Is it so easy to pass the level? He immediately said, thank you very much for your trust, Mississippi. I'm sure I'll be completely brainwashed by Mississippi. I won't hesitate. Mu Liao said, go down. Miss Wanan, I'm leaving now. Mu Chini retreated out. Xiaoya looked at Mu Chini with disgust and disdain in her eyes. How did this person become so disgusting? Mu Chini caught a glimpse of Xiaoya's expression and sneered, don't worry, I'll handle it for you in a few days. Xiaoya took Mu Chini to the other courtyard and immediately informed everyone about Mu Chini's appointment as the steward. In the future, Mu Chini will be responsible for the affairs of the courtyard. Wang Yin immediately asked, Miss Xiaoya, what about me? Xiaoya said, you. You will be under his management in the future. She was also unhappy in her heart. According to her position, she was also under the management of Mu Chini, but she was Mu Liao's personal maid, so she was not afraid. She immediately left here. Li Si looked happy and said, Yi Gu, congratulations to you. Mu Chini smiled and said, it's a small matter. Thank you very much to the other three people I brought along for their cooperation. Otherwise, how could I climb up so quickly? Wang Yin had a gloomy expression on his face, as he was doing well, but his position as a steward was gone. He immediately walked towards Mu Chini and said, Brother Yi, I will rely on you to take care of me more in the future. Mu Chini said, Well. Don't worry, Brother Yi. I will definitely have a sense of filial piety. What are you doing? Everyone is their own person, you're welcome. It's all what I should do, what I should do. Since that's the case, then I'll accept it then. Han Ming and the others were trembling in the same place, their faces turning pale. Will there still be a good day for them in the future? Zhang Wei immediately knelt down. Yi Gu, I was wrong. Your adult doesn't care about petty people. I hope you can let me go. Li Jun and Han Ming immediately knelt down. Yi Gu, I was wrong. Please give me a chance. Mu Chini said, you don't need to do this. It's all for Mrs. sake, and I won't make things difficult for you. The three of them immediately kowtowed and thanked. Mu Chini thought to herself, I will slowly deal with you in the future. All right, it's getting late. Let's all rest now. Wang Yin said, I'll make room for you now, little one. Zhang Wei. Little one, I'll go help you move things immediately. Quickly, a few people helped Mu Chini tidy up his things. Chapter 7 Obtaining Cultivation Techniques You are listening at NovelFull.audio Mu Chini returned to the room and immediately turned on the system. He already has a cultivation method, so he can consider starting to cultivate. Mu Chini looked at the introduction. Tai Gu Xiao Yao Ju Immortal Level Cultivation Method, created by Tai Gu Person Jie Chu Xiaoyao, to cultivate this cultivation method. Please refer to the previous comment for details. 
cultivation techniques, spiritual techniques, spiritual vessels, and spiritual tools are all divided into seven levels. Mortal, mystical, earthly, heavenly, sacred, immortal, and divine. Mu Chini carefully read the introduction of the cultivation method and said, Immortal level cultivation method, very good. He opened his own property panel. Host. Mu Chini H. 15 Talent and Qualification. 5. On a Percentage Basis, Ling Mai. Xianpin Special Constitution. None Realm. None Skill. None Spiritual Skill. None system point. 140 Mu Chini cursed and said, paralyzed. Even if you don't have a background, you're still a scumbag with only five talents. Even the spiritual pulse can be considered the most useless. But he's not panicking either. The Tai Gu Xiao Yao Ju, since it can steal her human foundation, should be able to solve these problems. He clicked on the Tai Gu Xiao Yao Ju on the system interface. Do you practice the Tai Gu Xiao Yao Ju Mu Chini directly chose to confirm. A blue spot of light rushed directly into his brain. This is quite convenient, he doesn't need to memorize it anymore. The entire content of the book is already in his mind. Mu Chini is familiar with the content of the martial arts. Simply put, it is to use a special method to steal her talent and some of her physique, and then condense a new physique for herself. The talent and physique of the stolen person can be slowly restored later. With special techniques, the recovery speed can be accelerated, and after recovery, it will be even better than before. This is a mutually beneficial and beneficial technique. However, Mu Chini came up with a question. He couldn't even tell what the other person's talent and aptitude were, and whether they had a special physique. You can't go up and ask if they have it, can you? Upon detecting the host's needs, only 40 system points are needed to obtain the ability to recognize talent qualifications and special constitutions. Do you need this ability? Mu Chini smiled, he must have this ability. Congratulations to the host for gaining the ability to recognize special constitutions, the eye of detection he immediately used his probing eyes to look at his own body. Talent and Qualification 5. Special Physical Condition None, very convenient, not bad. Mu Chini then swiped the system interface. He still had two chances to draw a prize, let's see if he could draw something good. Is there a lottery to be held definitely smoke? Congratulations to the host, you have obtained the body refining technique, which allows you to die nine times without destroying your body, immortal product, dot. Mu Chini clicked on the lottery again. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained the finger technique and the soul robbing finger, heavenly product. Dot. Mu Yi Chen clicked on the nine dead immortal body. Do you practice the nine dead's immortal body? Of course, it needs to be repaired. Immediately, Mu Chini obtained the cultivation method of nine deadly immortal body. Nine deadly immortal body. Refining the physical body with spiritual and dead energy to enhance physical fitness, and being able to resurrect from death, with limitations. After nine deaths, one can refine the immortal divine body Mu Chini nodded. This technique is good, and with the help of the ancient Xiaoyao technique, he should be able to quickly improve his strength. He immediately clicked on the spirit finger again. Immediately, the cultivation method of the Jia Ling finger came to mind again. Jia Ling refers to temporarily blocking the opponent's spiritual pulse, making them unable to use spiritual energy for a short period of time, and their body weak and limp. Unable to use spiritual energy, isn't that something to be slaughtered by others? Not bad, it's a must that have skill for Lao Lu. Mu Chini couldn't wait to start practicing, but he could only practice the Tai Gu Xiao Yao Ju. He practiced for a whole night, and now he has a little more spiritual energy in his spiritual veins. The cultivation realm is divided into ten realms. Martial, spiritual, mystical, king, emperor, heaven, heavenly ruler, great emperor, sage, and supreme. Below the supreme realm, each realm is divided into nine levels. Mu Chini couldn't help but sigh. 
according to his current progress, he has officially become a cultivator. It takes nearly 10 days to reach the level of martial arts. This is really too slow, we still need to upgrade our qualifications first. This path of cultivation is a long and arduous journey. He stopped practicing. One night of cultivation, although the effect was minimal, made him feel refreshed and refreshed. He walked out of the room and saw that the other few people were already busy. A few people greeted Mu Chini immediately when they saw him come out. Good morning, Brother E. Mu Chini thought to himself, you guys are smart. As long as these people are obedient, he wouldn't bother to pay attention to them now. Let's all go and work. Yes. Mu Chini stopped Li Si and then said, you don't need to do it. Just keep an eye on them for me. Li Si said, Brother E, don't worry. Mu Chini walked out of the courtyard and immediately arrived at the door of Mu Liao. Then she kept waiting, and soon after, the door was opened, and Mu Liao walked out with Xiaoya. Mu Chini immediately said, I'm paying my respects to Mississippi. Mu Liao said, Get up. Miss Xia. I'm going out today, so I'll leave the courtyard to you. Miss, don't worry. Mu Chini looked at Mu Liao and directly used the eye of detection. Talent and Qualification 37. Special Constitution Linglong Treasure Body, not awakened, Mu Chini looked at the prompt and was taken aback, then delighted. He didn't expect to encounter a special physique at the beginning, although he hasn't awakened yet, it should be of great help. He originally wanted to use Mu Liao to completely establish himself here. This does not conflict with his original ideas. After having breakfast, Mu Liao immediately left the courtyard without even bringing a maid. Mu Chini asked Xiaoya, Sister, where are you going, Mississippi? You're not even following me. A hint of disdain flashed in Xiaoya's eyes and she said, Miss goes to listen to the Immortal Master's lectures in the mansion every month. She is a cultivator. I see, Sister Xia helps me clarify. Mu Chini once again used his detection eye on Xiaoya. Talent and Qualification 10. Special Constitution None he watched Xiaoya walk away and said, I despise you, so I'll start with you. He was also thinking about taking action on Mu Liao, and he needed to know more. The simplest way was to take action on Xiaoyu. Later, he probed the other maids in the courtyard again, but unfortunately, he did not find any special constitutions, not even anyone with a talent higher than ten. In the afternoon, he walked into the backyard and saw a group of people killing sheep. The sheep was stabbed and howled incessantly, blood flowing out along the knife, and soon it died. Mu Chini immediately stepped forward. He practiced the nine dead's immortal body, but he needed a dead energy. This sheep is dead, and the dead energy on the corpse can be absorbed perfectly. He said, I'll peel the skin, you guys go do other things. Everyone didn't understand why this new manager had to do such tiring and dirty work, but they didn't dare to say anything and all retreated. Chapter 8 Opportunities come you are listening at novelfull.audio. Mu Chini picked up his knife and pretended to be skinning, but in reality, he pressed his palm on the sheep's body, absorbing the dead energy. Small black gases flowed directly into his body through his palm, and then swam throughout his body. A faint black line appeared on Mu Chini's face, and he felt a shiver all over. He immediately stopped absorbing. It seems that at present, I cannot absorb too much stagnant energy, otherwise I will not be able to bear it. The biggest drawback of practicing this body refining technique is that it causes damage to the body by allowing stagnant energy to enter. To counteract this kind of damage, one needs to die nine times. After each death and resurrection, the damage caused by the dead energy disappears and the physical strength increases significantly. After nine times, there will be no impact on the body. But these nine times are limited. It must be when the dead energy on the body erodes all the internal organs, otherwise there will be no resurrection after death. That is to say, when practicing, if you are directly killed by the dead energy, then you are truly dead. 
In the first six deaths, the body must still be intact, not to mention missing arms and legs, even a few fingers are not enough. Therefore, those father dot in dot law cannot cultivate this cultivation method. There are also requirements for realm. In the martial realm, one must die once, in the spiritual realm twice, in the mystical realm three times, and in the royal realm three times. Mu Chini didn't think much anymore, threw down the body of the sheep, and immediately said, I have something to deal with, you can continue. A few servants are unknown, but they can only be referred to consecutively. Mu Chini immediately returned to his room and began practicing the nine deadly immortal body. The purple spiritual energy and black death energy intertwined, and then he continued to wander on Mu Chini's body. He immediately felt a sense of corrosion in his body, with black lines constantly appearing on his skin, bulging veins, and his body feeling like it was about to crack open. He was already sweating cold all over, and then his whole body was cold, to the extent that a layer of frost had formed on his clothes. Mu Chini didn't stop, this was the most crucial step. As long as he persevered, his cultivation would be much easier in the future. Not long after, the black lines on his skin gradually faded, the frost on his body melted, and his whole body was completely soaked. Mu Chini lay in bed, breathing heavily. After a long time, he slowly got up, changed his clothes, and walked out of the room. He looked at the stone table in the courtyard, then walked over and picked it up, feeling much more relaxed. He was able to pick it up before, but it definitely took some effort. Undoubtedly, it is an immortal level body cultivation technique that has such a divine effect since the first cultivation. Mu Chini opens the system. He clicked on the system button and didn't see what this thing was useful before, but now he's just studying it. System point. Can be used to exchange items and cultivate spiritual skills. He clicked on the redemption button, and then the redemption interface appeared. There are various martial arts and spiritual skills inside. There are also pills, weapons, and various cultivation items. Mu Chini then closed the redemption interface, as the items inside were too expensive and he couldn't afford to redeem them now. He then clicked on spiritual skill cultivation. Detected that the host has a spiritual skill robbing spirit finger. It can cost 100 system points to cultivate the spiritual skill to a small level, 400 system points to a large level, and 1000 system points to complete it. Mu Chini clicks to cultivate to a small level. Congratulations to the host, you have cultivated the Jia Ling finger to a small level. Mu Chini immediately used the Jia Ling finger and tapped it on the spiritual pulse on his chest. He instantly softened his body, unable to activate his spiritual energy. This feeling lasted for about five minutes before it ended. Very good. After the cultivation level improves, this time can increase significantly. With this spiritual skill, he will have more confidence in dealing with Mu Liao in the future. However, before that, he needs to take care of the maid Xiaoya next to Mu Liao and try the effect of the Tai Gu Xiao Yao Ju. Afterwards, let the maid cooperate with him, and the success rate of the matter will be much higher. In the next few days, Mu Chini goes to the backyard every day, and when he sees the killed chickens, ducks, and fish, he goes to absorb the dead energy. After these few days, his strength has exceeded twice as much as before. And these days, Mu Chini has been looking for opportunities, intending to take over the maid Xiaoya as soon as possible. However, I haven't waited until Xiaoya's flaw. That Xiaoya is usually only responsible for serving Mu Liao, so she is naturally careful in her actions. Mu Chini has never been able to find a handle. This morning, Mu Chini arrived at the door of Mu Liao as usual, ready to greet her. After Mu Liao came out, he immediately knelt down to greet her. Then he saw several creases at the bottom of Mu Liao's skirt. Mu Chini smiled and the opportunity came. He can now use the topic as a reference. Mu Liao is about to leave. Mu Chini immediately said, Miss, wait a moment. Hmm. Miss, you still need to change clothes. 
The hem of this garment is severely wrinkled. If Miss wears it out, it will be disrespectful. If others discover it, those who envy Miss will definitely arrange Mississippi. Upon hearing this, Mu Liao glanced and noticed the creases. Although there were not many, she still frowned. She didn't care about this small matter at first, but with the reminder of Mu Chini's words, she also took it seriously. It really concerns her face. Who is responsible for this clothes? Xiao Ye immediately said, Miss, the clothes are all handled by Xiao Tsui. How could Mu Chini get rid of this maid's connections? He immediately said, Miss, Xiao Ye, as your personal servant, is also to blame. She waited on the young lady to change clothes, but she didn't even notice such obvious wrinkles, which shows how careless and lazy she is usually. Mu Liao's gaze at Xiao Ye immediately became a bit cold. Xiao Ye immediately knelt down and said, Miss, it's not my business. Mu Chini said, You are responsible for taking care of yourself. When such a thing happened, you even said it had nothing to do with you. Not only did you not repent, but you also shirked responsibility. It's a heinous crime. Xiao Ye has already cursed Mu Chini 800 times in her heart. This thief is trying to kill her. Miss, I was wrong. Please forgive me, Mississippi. Mu Chini immediately said, Miss, I am responsible for the affairs in the hospital, and I also have a responsibility. Please entrust this matter to me, Mississippi. I will definitely punish them well. Mu Liao thought for a moment and said, Okay, then I'll leave it to you. She also needs to attend lectures from cultivators in the mansion, and she doesn't want to waste time on such trivial matters. Thank you very much, miss. Afterwards, Mu Liao changed into clothes and was escorted out of the door by Mu Chini. Mu Liao said, just give them a lesson, don't go too far. After all, Xiao Ye has been serving her for a long time, and she doesn't want to worry too much. Mu Chini said, miss, don't worry, I will make them remember the lesson. After returning to the courtyard, Mu Chini saw Xiao Ye and another maid Xiao Tsui kneeling in the courtyard. He looked at the two and pretended to be helpless, saying, Miss is very angry about this matter, and I am not good at favoritism. Don't blame me for being ruthless. Xiao Ye thought to herself, it's not like you're a dog thief. What are you pretending to be innocent at this time? But she had to kowtow and say, please open up the situation for manager Mu. Xiao Tsui was already kneeling on the ground trembling with fear, unable to speak. Mu Chini said, Xiao Tsui, go to the backyard to work first. I will punish you later. Xiao Tsui quickly crawled out. At this moment, Xiao Ye saw no one around and immediately took out the silver and handed it over. Steward Mu, please let me go. Mu Chini pushed away Xiao Ye's hand and said, Sister, this incident has angered Mississippi. I am also helpless. Please ask manager Mu for help. Xiao Ye thought that Mu Chini was disgusted by the lack of silver and continued, I still have some silver, which can be taken care of. Sister, come with me first, let's discuss it carefully, said Mu Chini he brought Xiao Ye to his room and immediately closed the door. He looked at Xiao Ye with a nervous expression and said, Sister, I still really want to help you. Upon hearing this, Xiao Ye naturally breathed a sigh of relief, but then felt a surge of anger in her heart. This was originally caused by the other party. She pretended to say, Thank you, Manager Mu. Xiao Ye will definitely remember your kindness. She also thought in her heart that sooner or later she would seize the handle of Mu Chini and then clean him up. Mu Chini sighed and then said, Sister, don't be busy thanking me. Although I want to help you, if I really helped you, I won't be able to explain it to Mississippi. Xiao Ye naturally knew that the thief in front of her wanted benefits, and immediately said, Steward Mu, as long as you help me, I will give you ten tails of silver. Mu Chini said, Sister, you're so generous. That's enough for my monthly income for five years. As long as Manager Mu can help me, I can give Manager Mu another five liang in the future. 
Xiaoya usually serves Mu Liao and occasionally receives some rewards, so she can naturally take out this money. Mu Chini smiled and then said, Sister, I'm not very interested in money. So what do you want? Mu Chini smiled and looked up and down at Xiaoya, her expression very lewd. Xiaoya was surprised and didn't understand what Mu Chini meant. You are so bold, I want to tell Miss about this. Mu Chini said, it's useless. I'll tell Miss that you want to avoid punishment and try to seduce me, but I don't agree, so you frame me. Xiaoya said, Miss won't believe you. Miss doesn't believe me and will let me take care of it. Miss doesn't believe me and will let me handle this matter. Don't be naive. There are incidents of maids seducing the steward in the mansion, but it happens from time to time. Do you think Miss will believe me or you? Upon hearing this, Xiaoya furrowed her brows. Since Mu Chini drank foot wash, she has gained deep trust from Mu Liao. Mainly because this person not only drank it, but also drank a basin directly. How could this not be appreciated by Mu Liao? It's hard to say whether Mu Liao believes her words or not when the time comes. She looked at Mu Chini and cursed, you're despicable. Chapter 9 I promise you you are listening at novel full dot audio. Mu Chini smiled and then said, Sister, where are these words? I won't force you. Are you following me or being punished? You can choose for yourself. Xiaoya was so angry that she wished she could go up and strangle Mu Chini. What's the difference between this and coercion? Mu Chini said, I'll inform you in advance that I'm going to cripple your legs and throw you out of the mansion. You're shameless. Xiaoya was very angry, but at the same time, she was also afraid. If her legs were really broken, she would be finished. Mu Chini said coldly, I warn you, have a good attitude. This is a fair deal. If you are so disrespectful, let this deal go. You. It seems like you want to be punished, that's great. I just happen to itch my hand. I'll do it myself, let's go. Xiaoya clenched her fist and immediately said, I promise you. Mu Chini smiled and stood up, caressing Xiaoya's cheek, saying, the right choice. Xiaoya looked fiercely at Mu Chini. Mu Chini's expression turned cold and he said, your expression made me very unhappy. It seems better to punish you directly. Xiaoya immediately restrained her expression and said, I was wrong, please forgive me. That's right. Mu Chini saw that the intimidation was almost over, so it's time to give some benefits next. He said, don't feel unwilling, you won't lose out on me. Think about it, I have gained the lady's trust and am in charge of the affairs in the hospital. With me covering you up, will you still have trouble? Xiaoya looked at Mu Chini and asked, would you be so kind? Mu Chini said, think about it again. You are the Miss's personal servant, and I am the steward. If we unite, won't we have peace of mind in the future? Upon hearing Mu Chini's words, Xiaoya realized that it was really like this. It seems that it is not without benefits for her to follow Mu Chini, and besides, the other person is already quite good dot looking, but this time the young lady is angry, I may not be able to be her personal servant anymore. What are you afraid of? Isn't it me? As long as you listen, I promise you can still be the lady's personal servant. Xiaoya said, really? Mu Chini grabbed Xiaoya's waist and then said, this is natural. Although I have deep trust from Miss now, who can guarantee it in the future. Take you as an example, who would dare to offend you in this courtyard except for the young lady on weekdays. But today you have fallen into my hands. I need someone to help me, and you are the most suitable candidate, so helping you means helping me. He is telling the truth, it is naturally simple to use this maid to cultivate martial arts, but that obviously cannot maximize benefits. If he could directly bring this maid to his side, he would be able to grasp the affairs of Mu Liao at any time, and then plan to take Mu Liao. Xiaoya was already tempted and said, Are you not afraid that I will tell Miss about things later? Afterwards, we will all be on the same boat. If Miss knows, she won't let me go, 
and naturally won't let you go either. Mu Chini hugged Xiaoye tightly and then said, Besides, sister is beautiful and kind. Hearted. How could she do such a thing? Xiaoye's body trembled slightly and she shyly said, Disgusting. Mu Chini said, It's time to get down to business. He pulled Xiaoye to the bedside and immediately took off her clothes. Xiaoye lay in bed, her hands wrapped around her chest, and said, I can accept you, but you must keep your word. Mu Chini said, Don't worry, I guarantee you nothing. I will keep my promise, and I will need your help in the future. How could I deceive you? He can be considered an empty handed white wolf, and Mu Liao had no intention of punishing the maid severely. Mu Chini leaned down and gently kissed Xiaoya. His hand brushed over Xiaoya's cheek. Chapter 10 This King Tang is not that King Tang you are listening at novel full. Audio. Mu Chini looked in the direction of the door and said, Auntie, you must be careful. If someone else finds out about this matter and passes it on to Miss, both of us will have fun. Xiaoya said, I understand. She immediately gritted her teeth, feeling a bit angry. This person knew they were going to finish it, but didn't know how to restrain herself. Two quarters of an hour later. Mu Chini lay in bed and said, In the future, if there is any disturbance on Mrs. side, remember to inform me, everything is fine. Xiaoya lay on Mu Chini's chest and said, They know. She then asked, How do you plan to tell the lady? Mu Chini said, You don't need to do anything, just focus on serving Miss, and leave the rest to me. What did I say on Miss's end? If Miss asks, you can tell Miss that I will punish you by kneeling for a day. After that, you can thank Miss again. Don't say anything else, and this matter will be over. They know. Xiaoya hugged Mu Chini tightly and then said, You can't let them down. Don't worry, a grasshopper on a rope. If you have an accident, I won't be able to handle it either. Then Xiaoya put on her clothes and walked out, but her walking posture was very strange. Mu Chini said, Remember to kneel outside and pretend. They know. Let Xiao Tsui go too. Hmm. Xiaoya responded and then left the room. Mu Chini stood up and looked at the red marks on the bed, frowning slightly. This was a bit difficult. The host successfully captures their heart and gains one drop of emperor's blood, with a system point of 100. Mu Chini was taken aback for a moment. As long as the other party was not foolish, they would naturally obediently submit, but this captured their hearts. Isn't it a bit hasty? What he didn't know was that this was mainly due to the ancient Xiaoyao technique. Secondly, he himself looks good, and the other person is a novice, so naturally he falls into trouble. Is it just reasonable? Immediately he looked at the emperor's blood in the system warehouse. Blood of the great emperor. After refining, condense the body, enhance the strength of the body, and enhance bodily functions. Mu Chini sighed and said, Unfortunately, it's not the essence and blood of the emperor, there's only one drop left. He immediately swallowed it and began to refine it. After a full hour, he refined the blood of the great emperor, and his physical body was indeed much stronger. And his cultivation has also been elevated to the fourth level of martial arts. If there was a drop of emperor's essence and blood, perhaps it would have broken through to the spiritual realm directly, but unfortunately, the system points were not enough and could not be exchanged. Friendly Reminder The main function of Emperor's essence and blood is to comprehend divine powers. Improving cultivation is an additional function, and it is only possible for the first or second time. There will not be much increase in cultivation in the future. In the afternoon. After Mu Liao returns. Mu Chini told Mu Liao that she punished the two of them by kneeling for a day. When Mu Liao saw two maids welcoming her, she couldn't walk steadily, especially Xiaoya, and felt that the punishment was similar. That's it. Let them kneel until it's dark, and this matter will pass. Mu Chini said, Yes, I'm leaving. When he went out, he naturally gave a glance to Xiaoya, indicating that he had taken care of it. 
Xiaoye knelt on the ground and calmed down. A few days later, late at night, a figure sneaked into the other courtyard, then quietly entered Muchini's room, and then went to the bedside, pouncing into Muchini's arms. Muchini had already heard the commotion and knew it was Xiaoye. Naturally, she didn't panic and held the other person in her arms. Nearly half an hour later, Mu Chini was surprised. He refined a drop of emperor's blood, and the system showed that it would increase various bodily functions. Unexpectedly, it also strengthened a lot in this area. He couldn't help but be delighted that in the future, he will definitely be able to achieve twice the result with half the effort. Mu Chini held on to Xiaoya and asked, Is there any situation over there, Mississippi? Xiaoya coquettishly said, If you don't care about the other person for a moment, just ask Mississippi. All right, hurry up and get to the point. If we can't serve Miss Well, how can we live a good life? Mu Chini has no leisure to flirt with Xiaoya. Xiaoya let out a soft snort. Mu Chini is so angry. But I can only say, Okay, okay, I was wrong. Then she kissed Xiaoya again. Xiaoya said, Miss, there's nothing going on over there, but it seems that Miss Biao and Master Biao will come over tomorrow. Mu Chini asked, Miss Biao and Master Biao. She is from the lady's mother's family, the Wang family in Tianyu City. What does this Wang family do? The Wang family has been engaged in business for generations, and there is still a gap in family background compared to the Mu Wang mansion. In recent years, it has gradually grown a bit thanks to the Mu Wang mansion. Mu Chini nodded, there was nothing to care about anymore. If it was someone with strength, he wouldn't mind hugging his thighs. Miss, how is your relationship with them? Xiaoya said, it's not good, but after all, she's from the mother's family of the young lady, so she can still live up to her dignity. Mu Chini thought to himself, as long as he didn't offend. What are the names of those two people? Miss Biao's name is Wang Shimeng, and Master Biao's name is Wang Tang. Mu Chini suddenly sat up, and the phrase, My son Wang Tang has the wealth of a great emperor, was too familiar to people. He couldn't help but wonder if this person would become a thigh like existence in the future. Xiaoya was startled and asked, What's wrong? Mu Chini said, It's okay, it's just that my shoulders are a bit sore. Give me a rub. He finished speaking and climbed down directly. Xiaoya stood up and slowly rubbed her shoulders for Mu Chini. The next day, the first thing Mu Chini did was to go and greet Mu Liao. Subsequently, Mu Liao said to Mu Chini, My cousin and cousin are coming today. When they arrive, you can bring someone to pick them up. Yes, miss, said Mu Chini he withdrew, confirming Mu Liao's attitude towards the Wang family. Not only did he not personally go to greet them, but he only sent someone to pick them up, and specifically instructed them to go and pick them up when they arrived. Obviously, Mu Liao didn't take the two members of the Wang family to heart. Now it seems that there shouldn't be anything unusual about Wang Tang. Until noon. Li Si came to Mu Chini's room and said, Brother Yi, the servants in the mansion have reported that the Wang family has arrived. Mu Chini said, then come and take a look with me. Yi Gu, just the two of us, isn't it too grand? Isn't the person from the Wang family Mrs. Cousin? It's okay, just come with me. Immediately, Mu Chini and Li Si walked slowly out of the courtyard and towards the gate of the Mu Prince's mansion. Li Si saw Mu Chini calmly and immediately said, Brother E, let's hurry up. Otherwise, if we neglect the people of the Wang family, Miss may punish us. Mu Chini smiled and said, Now is not the time to be in a hurry. Many times, things need to be done for others to see. There is no one in charge here. Who are you in a hurry to show to? Li Si was speechless and couldn't understand. Ah! This! Mu Chini shook his head. This young man is still young. It's okay, just follow me. There won't be anything wrong. After dragging around for nearly twenty minutes, Mu Chini brought Li Si to the entrance of the Mu Wang mansion. 
He had just arrived at the door when he heard someone shouting outside. Have you guys notified us yet? We've been waiting for a long time. The guard at the door impatiently said, I have already informed Mississippi. Mu Chini said to Li Si, let's go out. After he finished speaking, he ran out. Li Si also followed and ran out. Mu Chini ran outside the door, panting heavily, and even wiped his forehead with his sleeve. Li Si thought to himself, you have been leisurely all the way, running two steps at the door. Why are you still gasping for breath and wiping away sweat? He didn't think much either, he just followed suit. After a moment of expression, Mu Chini said to the young man outside the door, Young master, you must be Wang Xiao, with an impressive appearance and extraordinary demeanor. He said to the woman next to the man, Miss has a charming temperament like a orchid, and she must be Miss Biao. Wang Ting said, Who are you? Mu Chini said, I am the steward of Miss Lu's courtyard. Miss specially invited me to welcome the young master and Miss into the mansion. Wang Ting looked at Mu Chini and said, Do you know how long we've been waiting? There are many affairs in the courtyard, and every detail involves young ladies. I dare not neglect them. Mu Chini bowed and said, I also left behind what I had in hand and rushed over in a hurry. I didn't expect it to be too late. Please forgive me, young master and young lady.